Hi, my name is Ami Migani. I'm an applications engineer for Go Engineer. In a previous video, I talked about how to build a note library. So you could create individual annotations and add them to a library uh, here on the task pane so that you can reuse and repurpose those for other drawings as well. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can bring these annotations into your drawing as a flag note bank. And then you can attach flags to parts or features of your model that reference those notes. The first thing we should do is go into our options and go to drawings. And we want to clear the option that says disable note merging when dragging. Clear that checkbox and select OK. Now I'm going to start dragging notes into the drawing. When you drag the second note, wait for the dynamic highlight of the previous note, and then you can release your mouse, and that will append that note to the previous note. And then what I'm doing is hitting Escape, or you can click on your right mouse button and it will release that previous note. So then you can add a new note. And then I'm hitting Escape. Now I'm going to reorder the notes the way I want. So I'm going to double click. And I'm just going to enter a space. Now there's a, a word processor trick where you just highlight and drag to that space to move it. But you can't really do that here. Um, so I'm going to just do a control X to cut that and then a control V to paste it. And now you see what's happened. It's actually indented my remaining items. So what I'm going to do is just highlight this and I'm going to decrease the indent. Now I'm going to make all of these items numbered. So I want item one, two, three, and four. So I'm going to highlight these items and choose the number. And immediately you see I have some items that don't need numbering. So just highlight those items. And then um, instead of going to number to denumber them, you, you can do that. I'm going to show you what happens. That changes the indent. So what we're going to do is just right click. And we're going to go to Paragraph Properties. And I'm going to de uh, deselect the numbering here. But notice how these indent numbers also change. So I'm going to go ahead and increase the num I mean the indent again. Click OK. So I know it's a lot of formatting. Um, but I want you to extend a little forgiveness because this is not a word processing software. It's not like we're going to Microsoft Word and saying, hey, I, how come I can't make a 3D parametric model? Just know that the tools you can use to format your annotations, your text, your bulletin, um, all of that is on your right click. And you can go to Paragraph Properties to really explore this menu. Next, we're going to add flag notes. And this part is a little tricky. It's not as intuitive. But what you want to do is make sure your annotation is activated. And you want to click on the actual number of that bulletized item. And that brings you this property manager on the left. Choose your border type. And make sure you check the box next to Add to Flag Note Bank. And it'll add it in a little chart. And just keep advancing until all of them are added to your flag note bank. Now I'm done and I'm going to exit that property manager. And I'm ready to label my model with these flags. So you're going to go up to the balloon feature and make sure you select flag note bank. And now you can choose each one to attach that flag note to the model. So for item one, I'm going to attach it to maybe this feature here and maybe another feature. And then I'm going to advance to item two, point to the logo. Item three, I can choose a couple of areas for that one. 
and item four, just somewhere like that. Next, I'm going to edit my existing flag note bank. I'm going to add a note and also change the order. So I'm going to just simply add a note by dragging it from the note library, wait for the dynamic highlight, release it and hit escape or right click. Double click on the annotation to format it. So I'm going to make a spot for this new item. It's going to be right here. It's already made me a number three and advanced the following numbers, which is what I want to see. Also, you should note that the existing flags also updated. I'm going to do a control X and then do a little cleanup and then do a control V. I'm going to select the number to make sure it gets the border that I want and also add it to the flag note. Click OK, then go to the balloon. Make sure you select number three, that's the one we added, and then label your model accordingly. As you can see, it was really easy to create a note library, build a flag note bank, and also reference the model with those flags. It was also really easy to edit that existing bank, add a note, and reorder them as needed. And you saw how the flag notes updated and that's what we want to see. That's what we love about this parametric capability with SOLIDWORKS. They make it so easy for you to go in and make changes because they understand that product development process. I'm Ami Megani. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.